is strange, isn't it? Like, I don't know why you have something like over there. That'd be interesting for some of the Abbeys. I'll go and have a look in a second. kind of waste of money here, all this crap infrastructure that just blocks out the view of the lake, which it's not the best lake in the world, it's not nice. Uh, why would you build this shit and not just invest in maybe like, oh, well they did invest in a pier at some point, but it looks like they didn't now. Yeah, you'd think, you'd think this would be the problem, right? Very strange. Absolutely bizarre. Bizarre. Absolutely bizarre. But again, it's all intentional, like, you know, the idea that people at the top of the chain do this because it's kind of a kind of like a dictatorial regime swap, kind of consistently just constant changes of perspective and different flares of opinion is what kind of creates this mess, this mosh pit of monstrosities. That's not the case because everything derives from the same core beings. It's, it's all, you know, everything, there's no left and right, there's no communism or capitalism. It's all just a joke to keep people in check. And people are so easily kept in check, especially when you come to... Uh, I'm going to insult, insult Central America a little bit. Central America really is the most devoid place when it comes to kind of integrity and standards and just, you know, the, the level of consumption here is just shocking like really like i think people have opinions on the kind of least developed places on earth but obviously economic measurement is a falsity the social should command and i can promise you that central america is so devoid and if you think otherwise then you clearly haven't traveled enough you know contrast it with places in asia and africa and these kinds of you know, it's really, it's really shit. <laughs> That's really shit. And you know, the people really don't have a chance in hell of progressing with the level of kind of consumerism that's just fucking fueling the, the so-called economies. You know, people just chug. I just, I watched a lady in the supermarket yesterday. The husband, obviously, they're all fat as hell. They're all like, you know, obese. South Americans are just shockingly obese. Central Americans, in particular. But she had already chugged three cans of soda before she got to the checkout. She just had the three empty cans in there so she could just pay for the metal. <laughs> like, and that's really South America. It really is. So again, if you haven't been, don't don't judge until you actually see for yourself. It's the reality. But there's just no standards like here as well. It's a new theatre. Um, They didn't build a giant model and kind of like restrict our view and use it as a bus parking lot. You know, all these things are so completely Latin. Um, it's actually all right, but then they've actually sharpied into the side of it. And made the theaters. So it's like theatrical, like a sharpie. Like someone's actually taken a mallet into some clay that you know they'll probably pay like ten thousand dollars to do and nine thousand five hundred five dollars went missing. Again, it's, it's, it's weird because usually like peak real estate, prime real estate rather, is you always find it adjacent to a lake. I mean, a lake's a lake, a lake's always good, people like lakes. But not Nicaragua, or not Nicaragua's capital, I should say. It's really, um, yeah, follow me further. We shall explore some more, uh, some more shit. Let's have a look. Let's have a little wander around.